America struggles with racism, but China is here to help with a new propaganda video about critical race theory. Welcome to America Uncovered. I'm Chris Chappell. You know, the U.S. has a serious problem with racism, and China is calling us out on it. State-run Xinhua says racism is suffocating the U.S. China's state council released a report saying U.S. ethnic minorities are devastated by racial discrimination. My favorite Chinese state-run media, The Global Times, says deep-rooted racism shows America's hypocrisy on human rights. Oh yeah. China really cares about human rights. China's authorities keep the people safe. In China, justice is blind. You just can't beat China's human rights record. But I'm sorry to say, the U.S. is far from living up to the standard of human rights set by China. As Xinhua says, as a country so entrenched in its original sin of racism, the United States can hardly act for a real change. Which is why China is here to help. Its state-run TV network, CGTN, has produced a helpful animated video in English to show American adults how to teach their kids about racism. Racism is passed down from generation to generation. What can you do as parents to break this pattern? How can you teach your kids about race and racism? Oh, thank you, Chinese state-run media. The answer to all our questions white American kids can be very racist. I only like princesses who look like Ariel, and I don't like Moana's brown hair and skin. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard a little white girl complain about people with brown skin, am I right? You can't be Spider-Man, you are black. <sighs> I mean, America could never accept a black Spider-Man. The problem is, Systemic racism has held back people of color. Black people have gotten fewer opportunities than other people, so they have less money to buy food and take care of their needs. Black people also tend to get sick more often because they can't afford doctors or medicine. And black people are hurt by police officers at a higher rate than other people. Well, that's true, without nuance or exception. So please, how can we educate our children about racism? It may be tempting to try to hide the news from kids, but it's better to tackle things head on. Okay, got it. Show children George Floyd's murder. Check. Make totally appropriate pun about tackling things head on. Also check. Wow, this is really helpful. What else can we do? Unfortunately, most children's books and shows center around white characters, but some don't, if you make an effort to look for them. Wait a second. Anti-racist? Is that the same thing as being not racist? Oh, no, no, no. You racist American. It's totally different. Remember, being not racist just keeps things the way they are now. By being anti-racist, you can help lead our children to a brighter future. That's just like what political activist Angela Davis said. In a racist society, it is not enough to be non-racist, we must be anti-racist. Davis was a Marxist and a member of the Communist Party USA. You can also learn about how to be anti-racist in Ibram X. Kendi's book, How to Be an Anti-Racist. The only remedy to past discrimination is present discrimination. The only remedy to present discrimination is future discrimination. Anti-racism. It's the bright future China wants for America's children. In fact, the Chinese Communist Party has been very interested in America's race relations for years. In 1963, Mao Zedong released his statement supporting the American Negroes in their just struggle against racial discrimination by U.S. imperialism. In 1964, Mao personally met with Robert Williams, a revolutionary black nationalist. Fun fact, when China got its first nuclear bomb, Williams congratulated Mao 
and called it a freedom bomb of the oppressed. And in 1971, Chinese Premier Zhou Enlai met with Huey Newton, one of the co-founders of the Black Panthers. The Black Panthers were big fans of Maoism. Here's a Black Panther gathering where they're waving Mao's Little Red Book. In fact, the Panthers' activism was partially inspired by the communist model in China. Chairman Mao Zedong invited a delegation of the group to tour the country in 1972, during the height of the Cultural Revolution, when everything was just great in China. Just look at that equality. You see, Mao Zedong really just cared deeply about black people, exactly like the Communist Party does today. Huddled on cobbled streets, with layers of clothing to generate heat under the cold skies of Wanzhou City, this is the new way of life for Africans living in China. Africans have become subjects of racial profiling. Chinese nationals blame them for the rising number of new coronavirus cases in the country. Sorry, I meant the Communist Party really deeply cares about black people, as long as they're not in China. The Chinese Communist Party's support of the Black Panthers and other black revolutionaries wasn't just about supporting an international communist movement. It was also about increasing America's internal divisions in order to weaken the country. The Chinese regime's current focus on racism in America aims to stop the U.S. from criticizing China's human rights by accusing it of hypocrisy. But it's also about stoking racial tensions to deepen America's internal divisions in order to weaken the country. Some things never change. So what do you think about China teaching Americans about race and racism? Tell me in the comments below. And today I want to leave a shout out for Patreon supporter Keegan David Drew. Without support from people like you, Keegan, we could not keep making this show. Thank you for supporting us over the past 13 months. And if you like getting your news from outside the mainstream media, be like Keegan and support America Uncovered on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash America Uncovered. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching America Uncovered.